Today, I feel grateful. I feel my heart full with gratitude and love, unconditional love for myself, acceptance for myself. I truly feel very connected to nature. And I also feel connected to the world around me. And I can say, I can honestly say that I feel connected to the world around me from a place of compassion and like higher understanding. You know, when you start to see things as um, from divine perception, meaning that I um, don't see the world as a negative place. I don't see it as dark. I don't really judge it. I see it with a lot of love, compassion, and understanding. I I know that there's a higher force that is guiding everything, that there's always a divine plan. I also believe that we can focus on the light. And this is not about dismissing the shadow, but it is more about the yin and the yang. It's all happening at the same time. It's all existing at the same time and everything is happening for a reason. Everything is happening and and it's, it's happening in cycles too. You see? Um, so I feel very detached from like judgment. And I don't believe in black and white thinking. This is my perspective and my perception. I'm just sharing it. Um, I guess I'm feeling guided to share how I feel and what's going on. And, and this is just about me giving and honoring my self-expression because I know that I can help people. <laughs> and that's, this is something that is natural to me and something that I love to do. I am passionate about it. I feel like a lot of you know me. And hey, for those who are new here, thank you so much. Um, but I'm feeling this very beautiful and powerful energy of freedom. Like freedom is here. And I feel like as you continue to change, to evolve, you know, everybody is going through their own journey in life. And if you listen to his message, you might resonate with something, with some others. You're like, what, what is she saying? What's she talking about? Yeah, maybe right here, right now, you're not in alignment with everything I'm sharing. But then we're always changing. We are opening our consciousness and we go through process in life that then open our consciousness and help us change our perception and perspectives in life. And then you can come back to this message and say, I got it. Or maybe you would just have a thought about what I'm sharing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yes, I'm just feeling like right now we are being invited to just ask ourselves, what does being free mean to me personally? I'm all about respect. I'm all about respect. I do not force my beliefs or my ways of perceiving and seeing life into anyone. I believe that you have the right. You create your own reality. Your life is yours to live. Yeah. So think about freedom and connect with this frequency, with this energy and ask yourself if you are living, existing in this frequency or if there is any sublimiting beliefs about the energy of the possibility that you can free yourself from living in mental slavery or living in the matrix? How about you just realizing that you are free and that all it requires for you to manifest this energy, to tap into it, to, into this frequency, into the reality or timeline, is to just to start to make conscious choices to change your current situation. And how these things happen is that you have to change 
Your personality, you have to go into your heart. You have to ask yourself important questions. You have to open yourself to change. You have to allow change to happen. You have to be open to a process and a journey of transformation and evolution. You're going to have to start to make different choices and decisions. You're going to learn to let go and practice non-attachment, detach from ideas and programs and conditionings. And this is how life is. And this is how my family have been living. And so this is how I live. You see, I have been going through the journey for... I'm going to say hardcore, like three years and a half. And today I can tell you that I feel after all these years of very deep inner work, I feel the energy, the, fre the frequency of freedom. But I changed and I went through a lot of lessons. I made choices and decisions, all of them from my heart, all of them because I was very aware of what I wanted it to manifest. And it was in my heart desires to make every choice and decision from unconditional love. And so before you make those choices and decisions, you have to ask yourself what love means to you. What is unconditional love? All right. Guess I'm here just, this is like food for thought. Yes, I'm just sharing what is in my heart, in my energy right now. And I just want to empower you to ask yourself questions about your current situation and why you are where you are. Yes, there are lessons that you need to learn, but we have to realize that we don't have to learn through suffering and so much pain. And when we are learning through a lot of suffering and pain is because we're resisting change. We're resisting the life cycle. We're wanting to stay in our comfort zone. We are wanting to control life. And that is not possible. You're just going to keep <laughs> hurting yourself hurt. And you are creating it. It is you. You are manifesting that. Today, ask yourself, how am I resisting life and life changes? What am I attached to? What is it that I don't want to let go that I'm holding on to so, so, so tight because I have fear? Find that fear. You're going to realize that everything is just fear and conditionings and programs just running and running in your mind that are keeping you stuck, unhappy. Love is not self-sacrifice. Love is not forcing, love is free, love is not chasing, love is respect, love is kind, compassionate, patient, and understanding, love is action, it's actions, it's caring, it's allowing, it's accepting, it's learning to let go, and so, I'm just going to leave it there. I'm wishing you guys the best because you're worthy of all of it. Believe that everything is possible. Realize that you are a master manifester. And if you have been manifesting a lot of hardcore lessons, you can now manifest <laughs> a lot of beautiful, positive outcomes. And yes, you know, life is all about lessons and challenges. But, you know, maybe manifesting this from a place of self-empowerment and like learning to flow with life and not from resisting and holding on and attachment and codependency. All right. Nobody can save you. This is inner work. This is all about you. You, you, you. It's all about you, baby. All right. Thank you guys for listening. Blessings.